welcome to another video in this video i will tell you about power pages is a new pillar of microsoft power platform by using which you can create more flexible pages for portals right to access power pages you have to go to make.powerpages.microsoft.com and choose your correct environment so that you can create your power pages right so if you can think power pages are nothing but the advanced version of you know designing portal pages or portal websites if you go to home you will see if you have created uh, existing websites existing portals it will list out here otherwise you can create new one so that it will create the new site it will list out all the templates that you can use while designing new uh, pages right there are many templates available you can use one of these but if you design the if you select the default template you can select here you can check also the mobile version how it looks like and the desktop version also then you can choose template as soon as you click choose template it will ask you to define a site name and like in power portals you have to give a unique domain uh, to create a unique web address url you see the web address url is power power up portals right same as power up portals web pages so this is a new way uh, of designing more flexible pages or power pages click on done once it is uh, once it is given the web address uh, and uh, the name of the power website now it will list out in your uh, home page the first one is uh, the second one is the power up portals page but the first one is the help decks power pages i have created click on edit so that it will open in the power page editor right so the power page editor gives more flexible flexibility to define the page content and to define the navigation and to define the styling data association and so many things right so here you will see in the the first option is pages which will list out all the pages that are part of your current website and uh, using this uh, you know there is option this, this is the menu item right you can see here the tab version preview and mobile version preview is under development and if you want to also see the code section you can click that uh, show code so that it will open the code editor at below side uh, this is same as you know power portal editor studio right now if you go to styling you will see there are many themes available inbuilt themes you can define your color palettes you can design the elements html elements what should be the heading what should be the button color so you have full authority to design what will be the styling of your power page right so this is similar uh, kind of experience that you are uh, having in power apps portal uh, customizations right in studio now like that we have tables here okay in the tables you will find uh, you can create if you click on data you will find uh, uh, many tables that are part of your data verse if you want to create new table you can create new one so that uh, you can create new table otherwise you can search the other tables which are part of your data verse if you want to create new one click on the plus button plus icon so that it will uh, create a new table you have to provide the table name and table details but if you don't want you can just ignore cancel it and you can search the existing tables which are part of your data words in other table section right if you go here and the point here is if you want to associate student which is an existing table you can op you can search here as a student and you can uh, edit the data here because the table data will be loaded practically here in the view so this data section give you more intuitive uh, screen to understand the data inside tables which is part of your dataverse in the setup area you will find many options like identity provider table permissions progressive application web application uh, settings all that right like that in the identity provider you have local sign in azure authentication social authentication if you want to configure it will configure also in separate window if you have the application ids you can configure next we have table permissions right in the table permission you can design which table permission you want to associate with the different types of web roles like progressive web applications and in the site details if you want to go to admin center of the portal you can go so all these are same 
is related to power ups portals but with slightly different the page design is more enhanced that's why it is called as power pages right if you want to go to power portal management also it will open the portal management uh, model driven app same as in power portal apps studio now the most important is designing the app right you can design the content of your web page or your power page instantly in line right you can also insert you see here you can design the title change the title uh, style component and you can customize the, you can you cannot customize the menu without you know uh, the web link set so you have to go to web link set and design that first then it will load properly like that every section in your page is defined by some uh, some sections right some uh, components so if you want to click the plus icon you can insert different types of components below that icon uh, that section that you want to insert so let's say i want to insert one column section so it, it it is added now and inside this section you can add these components you can add text button button image videos let's say i want to insert my video inside that power portal page i can give the url of the youtube and it will it is loaded instantly right so most of the components uh, are already given to you you just need to insert in line on your power page nothing needs to be done whether it is a uh, text box a text uh, label se text section or whether it is a video or image you can use and uh, so these are all inbuilt uh, components that are available if it is a video you can change the settings of the video when you want to start right like that if you want to use a spacer then you can also use spacer component and in the spacer you can design the you know styles let's say the background color should be uh, uh, blue then you can change the color then it will automatically add let's say i want to add a three column component and in the three component i want to add first a uh, an image or first i can insert some image i can choose as soon as you uh, select the image you can insert the external image or you can choose your media library or you can upload new image right so everything happens in line so you do not need to go anywhere and do uh, many things right so everything is in line so if i want to insert some text here in the middle box i can write down i can insert a text panel text box and i can write down whatever i want to uh, display there right so in those three sections i can define different types of components as per my choice and as dependent on your business need and that's why it is called as power pages right it will give you more power to design in line with with the addition of different components let's say i want to add a button so choose button and give a button a label let's say i want to define uh, i want to redirect to my website right so i can define my website if, if you provide your uh, mobile number to link then it may not work because if you choose a url address then you have to provide a url right so give a url here so let me change the button label as go to my website or go to the site and change the website as http subject.com now when you click the button it will redirect to a website right if you want to associate another web page of your power pages you can choose the second option now in the next i want to associate a youtube url then i can associate i can choose the you know drag and drop edge to make it resize accordingly and the padding and the spacing are already defined in the styling right if you see that how this uh, spacer is happening how uh, it is defining the padding styles that is already defined in the styling in the left panel right like that you can use your own imagination own designing uh, uh, own, own designing style you can insert list you can insert form iframe anything let's say i want to display a dataverse uh, table list in here so i can choose let's say i want to choose students right so students is a part of our uh, dataverse table so i can choose the student i can choose a view that i want to display and i can define so if i will go to data i can define different uh, features of that list this is same age you know the power apps uh, list that you are using in uh, power apps portals right like that 
you can choose a form if you want to enable this feature otherwise you can switch off Let, let's say i just i just want to uh, uh, display the list of data nothing else then it will display the uh, record information now browse once you click on preview you can choose desktop application otherwise you can scan your mobile application using this qr code so that it will load the application but now click desktop if you click on desktop it will load the power portal you know power portal or power page uh, preview in a separate page and if you scroll down you will see the uh, list item or list control that we have already added right so these are the changes we have done in the port in the power page and if you scroll down you will find that list so these are the records that are part of my dataverse so i have already shown the anonymous uh, student permission that's why it is displaying data so like that you see so what is the difference the difference between power app portal and power pages is power pages gives more flexible way to design pages right that's why it is called as power page right you can do the same thing using power apps portals but it require more coding because you need to define that html things manually in the source code but here you need to uh, define in line on the page but if you want to edit an existing power portals then it will ask you this message it will tell you this message that you cannot edit power apps portals in power pages so you have to use the power portal studio editor to you know edit your power apps portals so for now microsoft kept the changes if you have created a power portal in power apps portal studio then you have to use that studio but if you have used power pages then you have to use the modern power page editing interface and this power page uh, power portal studio is uh, you know more restricted right you the page design is very much restricted but uh, in power pages it is very very flexible to design the page um, which is better way right that's why it is called as power page which is part of your power platform ecosystem now if, if if you can add it again it will load the power page and you can do whatever you want to change on your power page you can add new pages you can again design a uh, new pages you can take the help of templates that is already given by uh, power pages right so it depends on you that what you want to do let's say i want to insert a form right so i can click on new form if i want to insert a form basic form uh, for a specific entity like student i can choose student as a table then select the form for which i want to display uh, on the power page so that users can create the record using that form so i can click on ok so that the form will be displayed on the screen on the page here you can decide whether you want to create a new record or update existing record right in the form option on the submit option and here you can choose whether you want to display the recapture or not now once it is done click on preview to see if the form is displaying on the screen or not right now if you scroll down you will see the form is displayed here now you can provide some uh, information some uh, student information and click on submit so that the student information will be submitted to the dataverse directly from the portal right you can define some phone number and you can give some uh, Q, uh, give some code given in the recapture let me type down that now if i'll submit it will submit the record and it will display that the record is saved and if you go to the list also it will be updated here right the point here is power pages are more advanced version of editing of power app portals thank you